Hey Aries, welcome to your reading, a different setup so I can be more comfortable in my living room for a change. <laughs> it is pretty cold right now, so if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. Um, welcome back to my lovely loyal subscribers. Um, who have been here through it all with me. Like I said, different setup, but be back to normal uh, next time. Honeymoon, okay, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Um, a little bit impossible to be having a holiday with everything that's going on at the moment, but I feel like it's some secret rendezvous, um, more likely. Getting to know each other. So you could be getting to know somebody new and as you reveal your innermost feelings there, your bond deepens, Aries. Um, let's see. Healing family issues. Okay. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents there. So maybe spending a lot of time um, rebuilding relationships with family and friends and things like that due to what's going on in the world right um but i feel like you're sneaking off um from your family due is for a little bit of a rendezvous enjoy let's see aries the dreamer of course um this is the fool um embrace your true purpose and begin a new adventure here so definitely you could be um meeting somebody new and um, daring to dream. Um, but yeah, beginning a new adventure there. Why not? Two of summers, you guys are meeting a new soulmate here and getting to know them. Um, wonderful. We do um, want to embrace a different kind of soulmate relationships. And that says falling in love or making a serious commitment to somebody. Forgiveness and the resolution of a problem. Don't give up on your relationship. It can be healed. And as I'm saying that, the star jumps out. So this is huge healing. Um, so some of you uh, may take that leap of faith and try to heal a relationship with somebody. Um, maybe somebody you already know because it says don't give up. So the message there is for some of you, um, maybe not to start new, but don't give up on something you believe in, I would say. If you don't believe in the relationship, um, wonderful news. Somebody new is on their way and you'll be getting to know them very soon. Let's see here. Um, the nine of wands. Okay. So you've got your guard up a little bit. We all have when we're meeting somebody new. If this is a soulmate, um, that you feel kind of destined to be with, with the star, um, that has blocked you, um, then the advice is let things unfold naturally. OK, um, maybe you want to take new opportunities in career, meeting new friends and filling your time like that. Um, let's see. Two of Wands here. So I guess if you are stuck between the rock and a hard place, it's very hard to go in any direction. Right. So you kind of need to make a decision. Um, are you moving on or are you going to take that leap of faith and maybe reach out to somebody? Sorry, that is doing my head in and maybe reach out to somebody there. OK, with the two of wands, we have two twos, So it's about taking care of your inner child. And that's why we see those healing family issues as well. Um, and your love life will benefit from it. Don't think we can ignore other issues in our life and then, then our love life will be perfect. It all sort of blends together. Um, let's see here, Princess of Pentacles. So I feel like if somebody has blocked you, baby steps, don't put too much pressure on them. Um, but this is um, a small message coming in. This is like somebody saying, how are you? I've been thinking of you. Um, and I think that just those small steps will really go a long way. Um, in building or rebuilding a connection. This is either somebody um, coming in as well to make what seems like a small offer, but it's because the relationship's just started, right? They're not going to come on the first date and be like, hey, marry me. No. Um, and if they do, run. <laughs> okay, let's see. Nine of Cups. So we have this wish fulfillment going on for you guys. So it's all about what you want. And I guess this is why it's, a good idea to make sure you've decided and actually take an action first. So moving towards what you want um, 
whether it's new or old, if you want somebody from your past, I mean, you don't want to sit there and waste time and not know and just let life pass you by. You want to take action. Okay, how am I going to work towards, let's say, getting my ex back? And I just, I'm just giving an example here. But if you want to work towards getting your ex back, I would say, um, start working on yourself start loving yourself and then speak to them we can't do anything right if we're not communicating the lack of communication destroys the best of relationships here i'm sure my little aries is being drawn to me um i can hear footsteps but it's because i'm doing the aries reading i can hear a little footsteps so if you start to hear grandma you know who it is it's baby aries so yeah um the moon now the moon will reveal very interesting information to you. People look at the moon and say, you know, it's about secrets and things like that. Actually, the ancient civilizations got all their information via the moon, you know, um, from the sun, if you like. So all that healing, all the extra knowledge, it comes from the moon. It's not necessarily a bad thing. It could be saying, look, your new partner, your new soulmate will be soon revealed to you as you wish for with the nine of cups right you're about to find your ninth cup um it could be saying um we will reveal real to you if you're saying to yourself i want to know if that person's cheating on me and then it's revealed to you right um it's so it's up to us to determine whether it's a good or bad revelation but it's still the truth right so let's see or it could be some family secrets that come out here that need actual um, attention from you. The death card. So you'll be going through this transformation at this time um, with this extra information that you get. It helps you to move forward, I feel. I feel like there was some sort of ending or some sort of blockage here, but now you become unstuck with this information. And that's the great thing when we're healing all round um, family situation, friends situation, job situation, we can really, really move forward and get that what we actually desire, right? Ten of Wands, we can finally let go of that burden of not knowing. I think the worst thing for people is not knowing, right? Or if somebody goes ghost on you and you'd feel like you don't have answers, the answers will be revealed at this time to you. So I feel like it's a great burden off you. I'm feeling like a lift off the shoulders here. Um, so that is wonderful. Um, that knowledge that you receive will be very helpful. And we have the full again. Um, the full twice. I just did Libra and they had the Ace of Cups twice. Um, so it's all about taking that chance. The only way we're guaranteed failure is by not trying right you've got to take that chance so i feel like either you're going to take a chance with somebody or somebody's going to come a take a chance with you here and come towards you or reveal their feelings for you here maybe a secret admirer definitely during aquarius season as we're rec uh, recording this now but yeah whatever the information is it's up to you what you do with it we can take things in a positive direction because with the fool it's saying, look, you're here. You, you can be at ground zero. You decide where we go now. Are we building up? Are we going off sideways? Are we going to ignore it? You do what's best for you with that information, Aries. Good luck, guys.